One of the hallmarks of trauma is that it impairs integration of the brain. And so one way to think about what we're trying to do when we treat trauma is that we're trying to reintegrate the brain. But what does that look like, practically speaking? How do we as practitioners facilitate that? Well, one strategy is to engage the thinking brain along with the more primitive parts of the brain that get triggered after trauma. This is an approach that Dr. Pat Ogden used with her client, and it had the added benefit of helping to prevent dissociation as they work through traumatic memories. There was a point in therapy where he felt this rage just surging up through his body. And he said, it feels explosive. So he was feeling exactly what he felt when he had those rage attacks. And this is a very important element of therapy, I think. We always want to bring a piece of that symptom into the present moment experience of the therapy hour, because then we can work with it as it's happening. So I, I said to him, let's stay with that surging and tell me exactly what's what's going on. And he felt it rising up in his body, and he felt this tremendous urge to, to lash out. So and this has to do with brain integration, because if you have a client mindful, that engages the observing part of the brain. So for this client, I asked him over and over to tell me exactly what he was experiencing, to observe it with mindfulness and describe it to me. And he said he felt it surging up, he wanted to lash out, and I placed a, a pillow here, and I said, okay, just begin to make that motion, but stay right with me and report to me what it feels like, report the tension, report the sensation. And, and when you do that, it prevents that reaction, that subcortical explosion that he had experienced so many times. And his brain started to feel the rage and execute that action, what Pierre Genet would call an act of triumph, but yet his cortex was online. You're eliciting mindfulness, and mindfulness keeps the, the frontal lobes online. So as he, as I'm asking him questions and he's reporting to me, that keeps the, the integration of the brain rather than him kind of dissociating into the, the subcortical brain. And another very important thing is that it keeps the social engagement system online. He is not alone with this. Like when he was, would feel the rage and destroy a room, he's in relationship with me. We're socially engaged. So both of those factors and then working with the body to complete that action, I think uh, were critical in his resolution of the trauma. By having your client report back what that motion felt like, Pat helped her client stay in the present. She was encouraging mindful awareness while she kept his social engagement system online. Each of these techniques can be helpful when working with clients to repair integration that's been disrupted by trauma. And now I'd like to hear from you. How are you going to use these ideas in your work with your clients? Please leave a comment below and thanks for watching.